Today I wanted to do, talk about something a little bit different, not something I usually talk about, and that is shooting and firearms training. Now I'm definitely not going to come out here and say that I am some skilled know-it-all shooter. I'm very far from that and my skill definitely needs improvement. However, I'm just sharing what I'm learning and what I think about when it comes to vehicles or when it comes to firearms and how to train for practical everyday life and carrying a firearm. So, what I'm talking about today, as the title already said, is shooting from vehicles. Now, the primary reason why I want to make this video is to break kind of two myths, and those myths are one, that shooting can really only, or shooting from vehicles or around vehicles is really reserved or kind of something that the military and police just do, that it's not really practical or applicable for us as, you know, civilians who carry firearms. The second myth is that it has to be done live fire. Now the second myth I'm gonna have to slap myself on the wrist for because what I'm telling you is not what I'm showing you, but I figured it'd be more entertaining to watch someone live fire shoot from a car as opposed to just dry fire shoot from a car. So starting off with the first myth, uh, or at least what I conceive, these myths were really my outlooks on shooting in and around vehicles, and that's where I got them from. They're not necessarily published myths for shooting around vehicles or inside vehicles like this. Uh, but the first myth, like I said, is for police and military, and while it is certainly true that police and military do need to know how to interface with vehicles and shoot inside of them and around them, like I was just demonstrating, it is also true, though, that us as civilians that are armed need to know, too, because if you're like me, you spend a lot of time around your vehicle, and while I might, I might not spend as much time in a vehicle as, say, a police officer, there rarely go, goes a day that I'm not driving my vehicle somewhere, going somewhere to do something with my vehicle. So anytime I'm in a vehicle, that puts me at risk for having to defend myself inside my vehicle. And there have been several close calls where I haven't, luckily, praise the Lord, had to defend myself while being in my vehicle. There have been close calls where I've almost had to. And that's what really got me thinking about doing this entire thing as a whole, is because in those moments when I realized, oh snap, I might actually have to grab my gun and use it, I was like, wow, well, I really don't know how to use a firearm or I've never comfortably drawn a firearm, safely, you know, maneuvered it around a vehicle and proceeded to fire and hit steel or hit a target in general. So that, so going back to it, civilians, you know, if you use a vehicle on a regular basis like myself, it is very important for you to learn how to shoot in and around a vehicle, knowing how to use it for cover, how to shoot you know, around it in that regard, and how to shoot from inside of it like I just showed. So that's the first step, or that's the first myth, and I highly encourage, or I highly encourage you to just break that myth, really understand that as a civilian, if you do interface with vehicles, it is very important for you to, to know how to shoot in and around them. So the second one is, like I said, kind of slapped myself on the wrist because I just went, or I just did live fire myself because I do have a semi-private range that is right behind you guys. And I'm blessed enough to be able to practice here and shoot and, you know, not have to worry about having anyone so I don't have to worry about any, you know, potential accidents. Uh, but even if you can't come out to a range like this and shoot by yourself, practice these types of drills, um, it's still very important to practice. And one thing I will say, you know, nothing does beat live fire at the end of the day. I'm not going to, you know, sit here and say that you don't need to practice live fire. Certainly if you can come out and shoot inside your vehicle. You know, it's always encouraged. But we see on YouTube a lot of people like T-Rex Arms or maybe Grand Thumb, and I have nothing against them. They're great guys, ultimately. But we see how they have their own kind of private ranges. They can tow vehicles out to their ranges and just shoot, you know, through them and around them and all that stuff. They have that kind of advantage. But if you look at them and say, oh, well, you know, because I don't have a private range, I can't do that. It's not true at all. You certainly, if you have a gun like this, is unloaded you can certainly do dry fire drills and what's most important when you're interfacing with a vehicle at least from my experience with shooting it is that you're being safe and you know how to properly you know draw your firearm how to orient it how to you know extend it or not extend it how to get a good clean you know trigger pull and 
so on. So a lot of those uh, skills like safety, like proper draw, how to you know properly index your firearm, you know get it into action if you need to, um, those things can all be done without loaded rounds. Those don't have to be live fire. And in fact, practicing you know your trigger fundamentals, you know can be done with or without ammunition in your firearm. So don't think that you have to go live fire if you're going to practice. You know you can even go out to your garage, you know right now or whatever you're watching this video and you know just make sure your gun's clear obviously you don't want to put any holes in your vehicle but you know um but you know you can just go out there dry fire and practice you know safely unholstering your firearm indexing your firearm you know, get that squeeze off you know squeeze off your round so to speak and then you know go from there so i would highly encourage you know you at least go out you don't necessarily have to practice every day or like crazy but Get practiced and experienced and comfortable enough to know that if someone was to come up to your driver's side door and you know, try to get you out of it, could you properly, you know, turn around, draw your firearm, and get rounds on target? Could you do that? And so that's what I would encourage practicing. And just for reference, because you guys are probably wondering about my muzzle handling, the range is behind me and no one's here, so guns are being pointed in a safe direction. <laughs> but anyways. You know, just make sure that you have those types of experiences and, you know, once again, you don't have to shoot through the windshield of your truck. You know, practice drawing your firearm, shooting through your windshield, obviously, without live ammo in your gun. But, okay, guys, yeah, sorry about that. The camera cut off. But anyways, to sum it up and to get to the end of the video, uh, like I was saying, you know, it's really important to practice. And while you can certainly dry fire practicing through the front of your windshield, uh, the most important thing, whether it's live fire or dry fire, is to practice shooting from your side win windows because most attackers are not going to come from the front. They certainly can, but you know, if you see some guy walking up to you like this, you know, you're going to have a lot of time. Even someone like this, you know, you're going to have a lot of time to react, even if they're trying to hide the gun or whatever they're going to use to try to hurt you. You know, you're going to have a lot more time to react. You're going to be able to more clearly see an attack, whereas most aggressors are going to come from the driver's side of the truck or car and try to attack you from here for two reasons. One, it's harder to be seen from the side, even though we do have mirrors, we don't always check them. And, you know, it's a lot easier to hide things, like say I have this gun, you know, it's a lot easier for me to hide this gun behind me and them not even see it in the mirror as opposed to in front of someone. In addition to that, if the attacker or aggressor can demobilize the driver, then they demobilize the entire vehicle, right? So I would highly encourage, whether live fire or dry fire, practice shooting out of your windows or practice shooting from the angles of your windows because it is a little bit more challenging to twist your body and it's a more likely attack in real life. So anyways, uh, that's what I would encourage, like I said, whether live or dry fire, but just understand that you do not have to go out and dry fire or you don't have to go out and live fire or don't use that as an excuse to prevent you from practicing in and around vehicles. So that's kind of my spiel of why I think you guys should practice shooting in and around vehicles. I'm certainly no expert, you know, I'm certainly no T-Rex arms or Grand Thumb. Uh, I just think that, you know, we, even though we may not be military or LE, you know, we should practice as responsible citizens that do carry firearms. We should certainly use this as an opportunity to practice and get better with our skills. And vehicles are something that most of us interface with enough to warrant the extra practice. So anyways, guys, that is all for now. I'm now getting a little cold, but as always, God bless and I'm out.